So this is the President Biden's press secretary, and she's been told to lie. And so she's going to come out and lie because that's what she is. She's a professional liar. And um, isn't it nice when you have a a gay immigrant woman of color lie to you? Yes. It makes me feel better than a white dude lying to me. I like when they get gay immigrant women of color to lie to me. Equality. It's equality. So here she is to, coming ready to lie to you at the behest of the establishment. These people are, are fleeing uh, communism. She's talking about immigration, people coming here from our southern border. Mm-hmm. She says they're fleeing communism. As we have said, uh, as you heard DHS say as well, f- falling authoritarian regimes in Venezuela, as Nicaragua, and Cuba are causing a new migration a challenge across the Western Hemisphere. Let's remember, these folks are fleeing communism. Mm. Um, let's remember, you're full of shit, <laughs> and you're a fucking liar. And you guys are criminal liars. Okay? That's how much of a liar you are. That's to be a little bit. That's what you are. <laughs> you have to do the endearing head tip. <laughs> oh, that's good. So she's going to keep saying that. Think about Venezuela. What's going think, on? In think about Venezuela. What is going on in Venezuela? We just stole all their gold, and we've been trying to overthrow their democratically elected government. What is going on there? We've been sanctioning them and trying to kill their economy. What is going on there? Well, when you think about what's going on in Nicaragua... What is going on in Nicaragua? ...about what's going on in Cuba. They are fleeing political persecution only to be used as a political pawn by the Florida governor. So that's disgusting, what she's doing. She's wagging her finger at a Republican governor for using immigrants as political pawns while her and her boss actually create the circumstances for those immigrants to actually come here to be used as political pawns. They're scum of the earth, okay? Democrats, Joe Biden, his press secretary, these people are professional lying scum of the earth people. They're not better than Trump. They're not better than Trump. So let me disabuse you of that fucking stupid idea. They're abusing and using immigrants as political pawns right now. That's what she's doing right now. She's using immigrants as a political pawn to score points on Republicans. As she is complicit in creating the conditions that make those immigrants want to come here in the first place. So you want to watch? So here, Aaron Mate is going to explain it to you. He's got some jag off on who's talking about the immigration problem from the government. But then Aaron Mate is going to straighten him out. Watch this. There's a larger problem here that, frankly, we did not face when I was in office. We were de- dealing principally with the Northern Triangle countries, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador and Mexico. This problem has become hemispheric. Mm-hmm. Uh, in addition to those countries, you now have Cuba, Nicaragua and Venezuela who are not cooperating with us. Their countries are literally imploding. Uh, and there's migration to the north. So their countries are imploding and they won't cooperate with us. I wonder why that is. And I wonder why they're imploding. Aaron Mate is going to let us know. And the south. Uh, OK, so he says that uh, Venezuela, Cuba and Nicaragua, their countries are literally imploding and they're not cooperating with, with us. So that raises two questions. Why are these countries supposedly imploding and why are they not cooperating? Right. Well, the reason why they're not cooperating is because the U.S. has been trying to overthrow these governments for many years now. Cuba going back to the. Uh, it's the 1960s. Uh, Venezuela, there's been two U.S. backed coups there two. Uh, over uh, the last 20 years. Nicaragua was subjected to a terror war by the Reagan administration in the 1980s that left a lot of people dead in Nicaragua and has since then faced ongoing economic strangulation and subversion by the U.S. All these countries have been targeted for regime change. And as a part of that, uh, the U.S. has imposed these sanctions on all these countries that have made their economic situation a lot worse. Venezuela's economy has contracted right when the U.S. imposed sanctions to destroy its biggest uh, sector, the oil sector. And none of that ever gets mentioned on these shows. And so the question of why they're suffering and why they're not cooperating is just, it's not, it's taken to be because they're just, uh, they're, uh, they're uh, not cooperative and they're not good partners. No, it's because the U.S. has been trying to overthrow their government. So why would they? Right. Well, so that's why. So when you see her say this. These people are, are fleeing uh, communism. It's because she's a professional paid liar. And Joe Biden is just a bigger criminal fucking liar as Donald Trump. He's bigger. 
I know that's hard to believe. He is. And she's just as big a liar as any press secretary that Donald Trump had. Listen to her. As we have said, uh, as you heard DHS say as well, f- falling authoritarian regimes in Venezuela, as Nicaragua, and Cuba. I wonder why. wonder why those regimes are having a hard time. You mean the governments? I wonder why they're having a hard time. Is it because we've been economically screwing them as hard as we possibly can? The world's last superpower has been bringing the weight, the full weight of our economic military force down on them? It Could it be that? No, it's communism. They're fleeing their own dictators. You mean the ones who are actually providing health care and jobs for those people? Causing a new migration a challenge across the That's West- what's causing that's what's causing the new map. So you know what? Aaron Mate just explained what's causing in here. And here is Noam Chomsky to talk about what the, what the United States basically does in South Central and Latin America. This is what they do. This is what he's going to describe it for you. Uh, well, when we talk about terrorism, it means what they do to us, not what we do to them. And what they do to us can be pretty ugly, although it's, it's not even a fraction of what we do to them. I mean, take, say, 9-11. That was a pretty serious act of terrorism, maybe the worst single act of terrorism in history. But it could have been worse. I mean, suppose, for example, that al-Qaeda had... Uh, bombed Washington, uh, bombed the White House. It killed the president, installed a harsh military dictatorship, uh, brought in a bunch of economists who uh, drove the economy into its worst disaster in history. Well, that would have been worse than 9-11. And I'm not making it up. It happened. What's called the first 9-11 in South America, namely in Chile. On the 11th of September, 1973, the democratically elected Chilean president, Salvador Allende, was overthrown in a coup. A dictatorship under Augusto Pinochet was established that ruled Chile until 1990. There was the systematic suppression of all political dissidents. Thousands were imprisoned and murdered. Who was involved in that first 9-11? It's not hard to find them. Uh, Right in uh, Washington and London and so on. But that's... Off the agenda. It doesn't count. There's a principle of ideology that we must never look at our own crimes. We should, on the other hand, uh, exult in the crimes of others and in our own nobility in opposing them. So now you know a little bit more. We actually committed a 9-11 on South America and Chile. We're the ones doing this. We're committing coups in Honduras, Nicaragua. We're the ones economically devastating these countries. We're the ones. We are the world's terrorists. The United States is the world's terrorists. But you know who's not going to tell you that? She's not going to ever tell you that. She's going to lie through her teeth to your fucking face because that's what they are. They're professional, corrupt, criminal liars. You think you got rid of Trump's liar? You did. You got a new one who's even better at it. Anything you want to say, Jackson? It's just incredible when we have a moment where Tucker Carlson can come out and recognize that the reason why you have this mass flow of migration from all these countries is due to things like NAFTA, you know, these terrible trade deals uh, that are screwing over all these countries, sanction warfare, illegal sanction warfare, uh, coups and, and actual warfare, and... Then you have the Biden administration come out. Tucker Carlson, number one, you know, Fox Fox News right wing show in the nation, isn't blaming communism. But the Biden administration is blaming communism yeah. as the reason why. And even the United Nations, uh, Elena Duan, who's the special reporter for sanctions, essentially, uh, she came out and she did this huge report. She went to Venezuela, spoke to businesses, uh, NGOs, the government officials, People on all sides of the political spectrum, average, you know, you know, Venezuelans. And she found that the sanctions of the United States, the EU and other countries in the West reduce Venezuela's income by 99 percent. The country lives on one percent of its previous income due to the blockade. And these are illegal sanctions. Okay, and that's why she called for the sanctions to be removed. But no one in the West is doing it. 
So the reason for people coming to the United States is because we're screwing over their countries to try and either sow political unrest or destabilization or for greater imperialist ambitions, imperialism being the highest stage of capitalism, to steal their raw mineral wealth for pennies on the dollar. Okay. And, uh, boy, it does feel it does feel refreshing to be lied to by an immigrant woman of color who's gay. You know, instead of having a straight white male lie to you, it's really nice. Nice work, Joe Biden. Virginia Beach, Richmond, Arlington, San Jose, Miami, West Palm Beach. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member while you're there. 